Hello. A couple things have happened in the past week. I scratched my eye taking out some contacts and now I have to put two different sets of drops. Gotta keep them separated. There's my alarm to take one of them. Let me figure out which one I have to take. Oh my God, I'm doing too many things at once. Every hour I drop one of these into my eye and I will be doing that for the next six days. My eye doctor, my ophthalmologist, thinks that I need to get LASIK, which I've been wanting to get, but my optometrist, uh, which is different, uh, she wants me to have more of a consultation and to think about it uh, just because I am older and my eyesight will change, but the idea of not wearing glasses or contact lenses anymore and dealing with eye infections, which in my 20s I got um, a corneal ulcer once, which is as serious as it sounds. I got it from not taking out my contacts from sleeping in them in my 20s. I don't do that anymore, but my eye is still very susceptible to injury. So that is why my ophthalmologist thinks I should get LASIK. And uh, I want to get LASIK. I just feel like I'm nervous about it. Uh, I am older, so um, my eyesight will change. And my optometrist said that very likely I'll have to start wearing readers when I read, which doesn't sound too bad to me. So anyway, the other thing that's happened this week is that we got that. That is a split AC. It's called, and it has made such a huge difference. I mean, right now it's not too hot, but the last two days it's been in the 90s and it's been really nice to have something that feels like, like real AC, not like fake AC, which is the AC. I don't know if you can see it, it's over there. There it is, fake AC, your fake AC. Um, that little unit did not do what it needed to do. We're very grateful that that happened. It took two days, so it wasn't easy. I mean, <laughs> it was easy for us. We just watched the workers do it, but it you know, took planning. And uh, I have a feeling that's what it's gonna be like with LASIK. It'll be completely a pain in my ass, but worth it. And is it that much of a pain in the ass? I mean, I, from what I've heard, it's not too bad, right? Anyway, I, I need to take my, my eye drops. <laughs> you gotta stop talking. Okay, which one do I take? 10 o'clock a.m. I take this one. Well, let's start the day. I am, as you can see, wearing some overalls and whenever I wear overalls, Abe tells me that I look like Mario. Right now I know I look like a pirate. Yeah, so today I'm going to try to get rid of a lot of clothing. I feel like I do a closet purge every season and this is feeling like it's back to school season for most people. September is a nice time to reset and figure out what in my closet isn't working for me any longer, so I will do that. Oh, I also wanna show you my, um, my new hat, which goes along with my outfit. Here it is. This is a hat that really goes along with this outfit, I think. Uh, I actually got it at a yard sale and I've disinfected it by steaming it. What do I do? I steamed it, I put it in the sun and I Lysoled it. That's why it smells like Lysol now, but how cute, right? I have a cute little hat. I wish you could see my entire outfit. Let me see. I'm too lazy to um, change my lens, so I'll just do this. So don't, you see, I look, I look just like Mario. Anyway, let's get this day started. Okay, this is pretty cool. I just got a copy, an advanced copy of the golden screen, which I helped contribute to. I'm just gonna See if my face shows up on a page. Ah, there it is. Maybe one day I'll do a tutorial on how they did that 
ponytail because it, it definitely involves a little hack. Okay, so stay tuned for that. And also stay tuned for Jeff Yang's book, The Golden Screen, The Movies That Made Asian America. Let's see when it comes out. What does the letter say? This comes out October 24th, wherever books are sold. And that's it, I'll leave a link below. Congrats, Jeff. Speaking of advanced copies of books, I have here an e-copy of my friend Katie Horwich's book, Want Yourself. I actually have the privilege of interviewing my friend Katie when this book comes out. And what I have been doing is I sit in the mornings, have this, eat my oatmeal, and I read a couple pages from Katie's book and I make notes and I think, and um, I, I'm probably gonna do this a few more times because I really wanna make sure for her LA launch that I do it justice. Um, so I just really want Katie to have the LA launch that she deserves. And so I'm double reading this book, which I don't normally do. The last time I double read a book was Crazy Rich Asians before I narrated it. Um, and that was the last time I did that. So you're seeing me do some, some, real, some real work here. Um, I'm just gonna read you this one part of the book. Shifting your self-talk is a two-part process. Shifting yourself and shifting your talk. Uh, yeah. Why did I never think of this? Bookmarking the page and highlighting those words because that's good. It is finally sweater weather again and um, my sweaters are all pilly from using them all throughout the cold weather seasons. So it is time to defuzz them, depill them, de... It's time to make them winter ready again. So I bought this fabric shaver a while ago. It's called the Wonder Lint. Lint, that's the word. De-lint the sweaters. Anyway. Uh, this is called the Wonder Lint, and I love it because it actually plugs in directly. I used to have a version that was battery operated, and I just found that it did not give me the, um, the shaving power that I needed. So this I love, and I'm going to use it now. I not only use it for my sweaters, but also for my pillows. So... Uh, the pillows that have a little bit of a little bit of pilling on it. There's one in the living room that is yellow that is in a lot of trouble and definitely needs a, a de-linting. I still want to say de-pilling. Anyway, it still needs a de-linting. So today... I'm not gonna do the entire sweater, uh, but I did wanna show you. The lint gets collected at the bottom here and it's very satisfying, you just throw it out. But look how much came off already, just from the front and the arms. This sweater is a cashmere sweater from Jenny Kane. It's kind of an internet famous sweater and it was a gift to me from a friend, not from Jenny Kane herself, Jenny Kane, if you want a partner, I would love to. It's one of my favorite pieces. And what's funny is that when she gifted it to me, I had already been wearing these Jenny Kane dupes. These, these get much more pilly. I don't think you can really see on camera, but the lint on this situation is much, much higher than it is with the cashmere. Take a good look, because these glasses are coming off. 
I mean, yeah, like they come off. I mean, like permanently coming off. I'm getting LASIK today, so hopefully this will be the last time you ever see me in glasses. I mean, I'll probably still need them for reading. But for now, um, I don't usually shower in the morning. I usually am a night bather and I just washed my hair two days ago. I'm a once a week wash my hair kind of person. But I'm afraid <laughs> that I will get soap in my eyes during the first 24 hours and I just don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna get dressed. They asked me to dress in something very comfortable. So I'm thinking oldest shirt I own, a very vintage, soft, plain black t-shirt. They asked me to wear something that didn't lint. I don't know why. Maybe that shows up. Maybe that affects the lasers. I don't know. But um, soft sweatpants and Mickey sweatshirt. Cozy. All right, I'm gonna get dressed. Definitely not wearing a bra today. It's funny because I just got these glasses made. You may remember I had them custom fit for these custom lenses that are named after me. Oh, that will never happen again. I will never put on a sweatshirt and glasses will fall off ever again. This is my Mickey sweatshirt that I got recently at Disney World. And I love it, but I regret not getting it in like a massive size, which is how I wanna be wearing it right now. I actually already own like a truly vintage Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. This sweatshirt is like the best. And as you can see, it's like very similar. So I just wish that um, I had gotten this much larger because it just feels too much the same. Like I, I should have gotten a boxier fit. I don't know what I was thinking. You know, when you're at Disney World, you're just like not thinking. And speaking of not thinking, I'm definitely <laughs> not going to be thinking later today. I, I don't know what's going to happen with this vlog. I'm not intending to bring the camera in with me for any of this action. Maybe I'll just show up tomorrow without glasses, able to see. Or maybe Abe will tape me while I'm on Valium, which I think would be kind of funny. <laughs> We're going to have a great eye surgery today. Great eye surgery. Thinking great thoughts. Okay. See you when I see you. Like, literally see you. I still have my glasses on. I haven't <laughs> left for LASIK yet. It's not until 1.30. But um, I did want to announce that I just launched a course for free through November 1st on Aralan, which is a peer-to-peer -peer site. Kind of think of like a master class for peers. Um, so instead of having Martin Scorsese as your instructor, you get me. Anyway, my class is entitled How to Write a Screenplay in Five Days. Is that what it's called? <laughs> so bad at this. How I Wrote a Script in Five Days. Okay. Now I have to eat something because um, apparently I will be very out of it for a long time. And um, so I'm going to eat breakfast and lunch together <laughs> in one meal. And then I'm going to go to Sherman Oaks to Dr. Berg's office. He sent some literature home with me. I'll show you Dr. Berg. Dr. Allen Berg. He is the one who's going to get rid of these glasses for me. Um, maybe when I get home, I can hold it back this far and I'll be able to read because right now, I can read with my glasses obviously, but if I do this, um, Dr. Berg is just a figure with a mustache to me. Now he's Dr. Berg, now he's not. Now he's Dr. Berg. Okay, anyway, I'll see you later. Okay, it's been five hours. I had my eyes completely closed, post-op. I have these plastic lenses taped to my face so that I don't accidentally touch my eye. I'm not allowed to wipe it at all, so like it's feeling very gross right now because there's a lot of tearing and burning and all that. Anyway, point is, 
I can see. I mean, I can't see great because <laughs> these things are in my way, but I can see that that says Bern, Berg Fine Field. We already knew that though. Well, yes, but still, oh my God, this is pretty cool. Ugh. Lasers. I mean, yeah, also I took not only a Valium before, but also Ambien. I'm a little out of it, but I feel really happy and glad that it's over. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ouch. 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 Okay, remember, this is how I have to do this again. Two this way, two this way. Everyone remember this? Looks like a bra. It's so weird that I can see. First things first. Antibiotics. My nearsightedness is gone. So, what is this? Okay, I'm in the car. I'm gonna drive myself to my checkup the next day. I can see, I can see very clearly. It just feels like there's stuff around my eyes still like I have a very hard contact in um oh my god look here's uh the seat <laughs> totally pulled back from when Abe drove me home last night I barely remember anything I just took the sleeping pill that they gave me and um this is amazing I mean <laughs> there's so many videos you can watch about the process of it I don't want to go into it because I'm not gonna lie, the, um, the process itself was freaky. <laughs> it was very freaky, even on Valium. It was still freaky, but um, it was quick and totally worth it. And uh, hopefully everything will go smoothly the next month. Um, okay. I'm wearing the same exact outfit as I wore yesterday, except I changed my sweatshirt because I didn't want them to judge me too much. I, I have no intention of not wearing these sweatpants for the next 24 hours. Well, I didn't lie. It's been 24 hours and I'm still in this sweatshirt editing the video that I taped yesterday. I think it's time to end this vlog once and for all. But uh, I will have a post on genxtaste.com more about my LASIK experience because I know people had a lot of questions about it. And I know that when I was researching it, I had a lot of questions. I mean, this is so crazy because when I started this vlog, I didn't know if I was gonna get LASIK at all. It was just like a, maybe this will happen. And then I feel like in just a matter of days, it was happening. So, I mean, it's only been, <laughs> a matter of days, but already I feel like my life has changed in such a huge way. Um, I don't think I've told you all this, but I'm planning a trip to Japan. So there's going to be some really exciting international vlogging going on pretty soon. I hope you guys are well. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, I'm interested to hear about Japanese things next. So leave me a comment if you've been to Japan and have a good recommendation, especially for gluten-free and vegetarian friendly places. <laughs>